part two. <laughs> I added the Tommy Gunner on the back, um, and um, it just gives it sort of a visual flair that's really striking me. You know, as I said, the um, the basic motorcycle here is from First Corps. Uh, I've painted the guys not to be any kind of um, specific military. They're just uh, sort of, I, I kind of envision them as, as militant chauffeurs. And the guy in the back comes from Sloppy Jalopy's line of drivers and um, um, and passengers for their period cars, which are fantastic. Um, this is sort of a mobster type character, but... He would fit in the time period, and the gun's certainly accurate, so I like it. Okay. Last in our hit parade is a probably the only <laughs> the only um, die cast I actually found in a store. Um, this is a Ford. This is like one of those commemorative Ford model pickup trucks that they showed in the classics line, some Pacific Rim manufacturer. But I, I wanted to make this look a little bit more proletarian than the rest of them. The, these cars are all rather um, upscale and converted um, for, um, for, this, for this game. Uh, this is like a proletarian worker's man truck that's uh, old number three, I'm calling it, as you can see. It's sort of a uh, reference to Zombieland. Um, and I'm going to say that this guy put made a uh, rocket launcher, just like the uh, Green Machine has. He has four. This guy has two. Um, and he's got twin Vickers. Um, the wind, the uh, windscreen can can swivel up on this thing, so he can just reach up and fire away with it. And I add a little bit of extra armor, as you can see. That's a styrene plastic painted like metal. Um, that's on the engine cowling and there's like a metal door on the right to protect the driver and there's metal shielding in the back here that's kind of streamlined to some extent uh, and the reason for that is I was going to put a, um, a harpoon ear into the back of this thing and um, but I have not yet received that from Pulp Creations but he has a really cool harpoon gun guy and um, really dynamic looking so when this is finished this is going to have a harpoon in the back and um, and we're going to probably have to jury rig some rules about how you use harpoon in this game but I think it'll look badass so there you go that's kind of my rogues gallery of Maximilian 1934 I love this project it's been a lot of fun I love adapting die casts to be um killer road cars and um i'm probably going to do about three or four more just enjoying myself with it and it's kind of an easy um easy hobby to get into it'll be probably any uh an easy game to run based on what i'm reading through with the rules so and it's not really going to require any new terrain or anything just a ground cloth and some buildings and probably a few infantrymen and stuff for traps Anyway, that's my game, and I'm really having fun with it, so bye.